Sydney city traffic has been thrown into chaos tonight following a bus accident that's left a woman with horrific injuries. She was hit near the corner of Clarence Street and Erskine Street right near Wynyard and was trapped under the rear wheels. Our reporter Jody Spears is there. Jody, how is she? Mark, she has now been freed from the hump, being trapped underneath that bus and she has just in the last five to ten minutes or so been loaded into an ambulance and taken to hospital. We're told that she is in a critical condition with several different life-threatening injuries to her legs, her pelvis and her abdomen. Now, motorcycle paramedics were the first to arrive here at the scene. They crawled underneath the bus to give her some pain relief while rescuers had to jack up the ten-ton bus in order to get to her. They also removed one tyre so that they could get some access to um, take her to hospital and that happened around two hours after the accident happened. Here is what the ambulance officer who was here at the scene had to say. The patient has gone under the bus and is heavily trapped. Uh, we've got uh, all ambulance resources here. I've called the ambulance helicopter to the scene as well with a full medical team and uh, police and fire brigade rescue are working with us uh, but it's going to be an extensive rescue to get this patient out. Now the accident happened just before four o'clock this afternoon when the woman was crossing Clarence Street and she was hit by that bus. It's not clear at this stage whether the passengers saw the accident or not. Uh, the driver will undergo drug and alcohol testing and you can only imagine how he would be feeling tonight, Mark. And Jody, all this has had a real impact on traffic. A significant effect, Mark. This is one of the main thoroughfares heading out of the city, especially for buses that are heading north across the Harbour Bridge. Now, all lanes have been closed on Clarence Street between King and Market Streets, while a small section of Erskine Street was closed as well, eastbound at Kent Street. Authorities have warned streets will remain closed for some time here as the investigation continues. There are quite a few lost-looking passengers, but they're being urged to listen to the bus marshals that are here and to find some alternative transport where possible. Uh, the woman, we are told, has just arrived at North Shore Hospital where uh, she will be receiving the very best treatment. Mark? Yeah, let's hope for the best. Jodie Spears, thank you.